In this video, we are going to begin the process of converting our conceptual model to a logical model. Once you've opened Visual Paradigm, make certain that you select Model Structure so that we can see exactly how our current models fit in with our full analysis. One of the first things that we want to do is we're going to make another change to some naming. Instead of calling this the analysis model, let's rename this and call it the conceptual schema. So right click on the name analysis model and select rename, then type in conceptual schema and click OK. This gives us a bit better understanding of what it is that we're looking at here. And one of the things to remember, in any kind of project, always be prepared to rename things in order to great, give greater understanding to what you're doing. If we select Tummy's Tuck, Tommy, Tommy's tummy truck analysis uh, at the very beginning here, and we right click this, we can add a new model. Now, this new model is going to be for our logical model. The logical model process is more a part of design than it is analysis, but it's kind of an interesting bridge. So we're going to select a design model here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename it as the logical schema. Now click on add a new diagram and select an entity relationship diagram. Click next. Call this diagram our logical model to be consistent with what we did under the conceptual schema. Again, we could add further description here if we wished. But for the time being, we're just going to click on OK. We see that under the data model on the top right hand side, we want to make sure that logical model is selected. Save your project so that everything is now ready. You'll also see that up in the top right corner, there's this switch diagram element. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our conceptual model here by clicking on the switch model element, then double clicking the conceptual model. This brings us back to our conceptual model. In the full version of Visual Paradigm, we can actually migrate this conceptual model to our logical model at the click of a button. And it will make a series of changes for us uh, without us even having to think about it. But because we're using the Community Edition, we're going to have to do this the hard way. If we come up to our topmost item, in this case, sale, and right click the item, we can come down to selection, and we can choose select all shapes below. And what this does is it selects every element that is on this current diagram. Click on Diagram tab, and under Copy, select to copy within Visual Paradigm CE. Now, once again, we're going to go and switch now to our blank logical model. And we're going to say paste model element. Now, it's very important that we select the paste model element, because if we simply paste the view, 
then it links all of the elements to directly to our conceptual model. And when we make changes, which we're going to have to in our logical model, it will try to reflect that in our conceptual model. Our conceptual model is a conceptual model unto itself. So we need to paste the model elements so that we create this disconnect between the two models. We see it looks like exactly the same model as our conceptual model at the moment. We have to go through and make some additional changes. First of all, we can increase the width of each of our entities to show us all of the details that are necessary. You'll notice that we have some very standard uh, default values for the types of data here, and we know that these are all wrong and will have to be changed. That's part of our logical model process. But to begin with, we need to tell Visual Paradigm that each of these elements are no longer conceptual model elements, they are logical model elements. So if we right click on our sale item and open the specifications, you'll see that under data model, it currently says conceptual. We're going to change that to logical. And remember that we also have to change the names of our entities to now be pluralized. So this is now the sales logical entity. Click on OK, and what you'll see is that it changes color. This is the color that is used for logical modeling. I will let you go ahead and make similar changes to the other model elements.